Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I'm Michael. I'm Kendall. And this here is our Funko Funcon lottery winning order. So uh, I'm not going to put this on the table because then we'd have no room. So I'm going to set this down. So do you know what's in here or not? Yeah, this is all stuff that I ordered. Um, I ended up ordering... You ordered all that? Yeah. Like you needed that many more Funkos? Well, they're not for me, really. All right. Whew! Okay. So I ended up ordering one of each. And the reason for that is because some of it I want to help people out. Some of it, you know, I wanted for myself. There were a couple I wanted for myself. And I don't know. I might flip a couple. I don't know. But mostly I ordered it to help the community. Um, because not everybody is able to get in the lottery. Some people wanted some Funkos. Are some of these spoken for then? Already? Yeah, like uh, Harry Potter is Ryan's. So uh, let's get into it. I got the ones I was able to get, like some of them. So I will say one of the most frustrating things is when you go to check out. So I went through and I'm like, add, 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 add. I added them all to the cart, okay? Then you go to check out and it'll pop up and saying, this one's sold out. So you think you hit okay and it checks out, right? Mm -hmm. No, but it takes you back to your cart. So you're like, well, shit, check out. And then it's like, well, this one's sold out. So it's like this cycle oh. and you just start seeing them yeah, fall away. you should be away. able to just check out with whatever's not sold out. Yeah. So anyway, so that was kind of annoying. But uh, let's see what we got in here. So it looks like we got, they put them in boxes like this, which is kind of cool. They put them in little shippers. Um, let's go with the first one. So this is the first one I pulled out, shipper. We'll see if everything is good quality. We'll see what stickers we got. Because I know with some of them, it's all about um, if you get the the convention sticker or the shared sticker. What makes this box a shipper? Because it holds six. It's a case. Why is it called a shipper? Well, I'm just saying it's like a case. This is like a case from Funko. Like you would get a case like this. Like if you order Funko Pops wholesale, you get a case. All right. I guess we just start pulling them out carefully. I'm gonna need a lot more, uh, should order some more soft protectors. All right, the first one that we got is the Toy Tokyo Virtual Funcon 2021 Limited Edition from Tokidoki. It is Sandy. And you ordered this? Yep. Because somebody somewhere is going to need that, and I'm going to help. So this video is kind of like people should be really paying attention and kind of shopping because... Yeah, for some of them. I'll let you know which ones are or which ones are spoken for. That one looks... Excuse me. That one looks to be in pretty minty condition. Woo. All right. Next one up is, oh, this was a cute one. So this one is the convention sticker. It's the 2021 Summer Virtual uh, Funcon Mickey Mouse from the Three Musketeers. I've never seen a pop have four numbers before. Yeah, they're getting up there. They are getting up there. This one has a little dimple right here in the back. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It's got a little dimple a right there. dimple. Can you see it? No. It's got a oh, little, yeah, I see it. It's got a little back dimple. I don't know if I can get it to pick up with the light, but, you know, it's in a fairly good condition. All right. And this is a cool one. This is Cobra Bat from G.I. Joe. It's a virtual, uh, the retro toy line. And so far, none of these are spoken for? I don't think any of these ones are spoken for yet. All right. And next up, we've got Cap Wolf from Marvel. Man and Wolf Captain America mix. Why? He's one of the characters. A Cap wolf? wolf? Yep, Cap Wolf. Why? Because uh, it is. Is there a Marvel Universe where animals are superheroes? There's a Marvel Universe of everything, babe. All right, and the next one is we got the Falcon. The retro Falcon. I like the Falcon. Yeah, you like that show? We still have to watch Marvel's What If. Oh, and this one got a little bit crunched, unfortunately. So we have... Um, I could try to write them and see what they'll do. Um, so we have Danger Mouse. And this one actually also is the convention sticker. So we didn't even get the, 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 um, the official sticker, the virtual one. We got the summer convention shared sticker, but it's the Danger Mouse. And you can see here, it got kind of crunched on the side there. So I will, uh, I don't know what happens when, when, with pops like that, but let me put these away and I'll pull the next one. All right, next up, 
This one feels a little light. I'm curious what's in this one. Yeah, this one's got some packing paper in it. And inside, okay, I wasn't really sure what this was, but it seemed interesting. So this is the Travel Portal, or Battle World Treachery at Twilight. So it's a collectible adventure game accessory. And this was exclusive to the convention. So it's kind of cool. I had never heard of it before. I'm not really familiar with it at all. And then I did get a Funko Soda. This is Thor. Um, and so we, you know, I'm not going to keep this one, but I'm curious if I got a chase. So you want to see if we got a chase? You want to open it? Yeah, why not? Go for it, babe. See if we got the chase. Don't look at the puck. I don't know what the puck means. I can smell it. I know you love the smell of Funko sodas. Oh, is that? No, it's not. It's just regular. I think it's regular. Let me see. Yep, just regular Thor. We got the regular Thor. So no chase there. That one, regardless, was, it would be. He has be. a Xander chin. <laughs> it was going to be available, but now Kendall sees that <laughs> Thor and Xander have the same chin. So maybe. And we'll... I have the same chin. And you have the same. You have a Thor chin, babe. Congratulations. Not a fortune. I don't really understand this about the. It's funny. I don't really understand this about the Funko sodas. I don't understand why they put the sticker on the plastic. It should be on the can. And then you can't like pull the sticker. Well, maybe I can pull the sticker off. Aha. I just put the sticker. The sticker should be on the can. I don't ever understood that. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. The sticker's on the can now. I never understood why they put the sticker on the plastic. It, it's a convention exclusive. All right. Uh, that's it for that one. Next box that we have. Let's see what we got in here. I don't remember everything that I I was able to obtain, but I know I was able to get a, a, a pretty good amount of them. And you know what? These ones could be good. They could be bad. I I don't know. Who knows what the future holds? They packed this interesting. Look at that. Um, let's see why they packed it this way. Oh, so this one is... That looks special. Yeah, it's... Kind of from that cool line. I did get the convention sticker, not the not the actual. I got the shared sticker, not the actual sticker. But this is the Martian Manhunter from the like samurai line of DC characters that they've been doing. Is that the guy from Supergirl? Yeah. So that's Martian Manhunter. Well, I'm getting the next one. All right. Next one is also in a sorter. Okay, this is one of the bigger ones. Um, I know a lot of people want this one. This is one of the big ones. This is the Black Light White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. And I think last time I heard this Funko was over $100 by itself. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, the, a lot of people like the Black Light ones. I don't know if it'll do anything. Is it doing something? Yeah, it kind of looks cool. Look at this. Not really picking it up in the camera what it's doing. But anyway, it's pretty cool. So a lot of people have been really enjoying this blacklight line. I haven't found any that I wanted. This guy came. It's interesting they put this one in a sorter considering that this is one of the more valuable ones. It's almost like they knew. Um, this one came in like minty. Sorry. Minty, minty condition. All right, and the next thing we have is, this is another fun one. And this one, we did get the virtual FunCon sticker. Uh, this is the Diamond Collection Bulbasaur. Now, I do know our buddy Chris, hate my name, collects the Diamond Pops. I don't know if he needs this one or not. Miranda collects Bulbasaur. Mar Miranda. Who? Miranda, my friend. Remember, oh. she brought the Bulbasaur oh, yeah. pot. So, Bulbasaur diamond edition and the last one in here is from parks and rec and we did get the virtual the official sticker this is the parks and rec uh filibuster leslie and this one looks to be in fairly good condition there you go babe it's on her head a hat with dots on it yes do you ever watch parks and rec no I find I, I'm I'm curious as to why Funko shipped 
these the way that they did. They put the, the Martian Manhunter and the Blacklight Pop in sorters, but they didn't do that with the other with the rest of them. So I find that a little bit curious. All right. Next up. Still haven't got one that I, w that I was doing for myself yet. How many more of these boxes do you have? Don't worry about it. All right. And in this one... Oh, I think this is... Th so this is a one that I did do for me. Because it's the first of its kind. If, if I'm correct. It's got... Look at this. It's packed with foam. Oh, yeah. So this... Oh, wow, that's like a big deal. Yeah. So this is... the first, Feel how heavy this is. Wow. So this is the first one of its kind. You gonna unbox it? So this is the first ever die cast. And I got a crunch on that box too. How, how did it get crunched in that? I don't know how. But the outside box got crunched. But that doesn't really matter because I'm probably not going to leave it in here. Um, so I want to see what this looks like. I don't normally take them out, but I want to see what this looks like. So this pop alone, I think, was $50. But it's the first one of its kind. And it is a die cast metal. Funko Pop. And you can see it's got the Captain America number one on it. Y'all know I'm a big Captain America fan. Fighting the Germans. Wow, they even put foam inside? What the heck? So look at this. So it was like, foam in there. So intense. There's foam inside of here. Wow, he is heavy but he looks so cool look at this guys look at that die cast metal funko pop what does die cast mean he smells a little weird like he's metal wow this is a murder weapon <laughs> you chucked that at somebody i think let's see how it works if he just clicks in yeah so he just clicks into the base here that's pretty cool. And then this case, how they put so much protection on it and it still managed to get like schmutz. <laughs> I know, Jewish word. I just gotta clean it, but anyway. Look at how cool that is. That's pretty cool, I like it. So that is my first keeper. What do they call these? They're just metal. They're die cast. Die cast pop? Yeah, see, look. Pop die cast. Cute. So that's my first keeper. I'm going to leave this guy out because he's just so cool to look at. I'm going to clean the box off a little bit. But I love how they did like that clear acrylic case. It's pretty cool. Next box of pops. <sighs> Sound excited? This is like never ending. Don't worry. There's Mary only... Poppins box. There's only 18 more. All right. So our next box. It's uh, frustrating because they all look good when they're packed like this, but then I've been finding little itty bitty bits of damage. It all. I also want to say the last convention that we did this for, I think was, it wasn't Emerald City. It was the one before that, the virtual convention before that. It might have been the last year of this one. We got our Funkos very fast. This took a long time to get. These took a while. Okay, I know that people like this one too. This is the other Alice in Wonderland. This is the Walrus and the Carpenter, which is... If you're an Alice in Wonderland, if you know Alice in Wonderland, this is an absolutely terrifying tale between the two of them. I don't remember it. Don't they, like, eat all the clams and kill them all? Oh, yeah. Or something like that? All right, and the next one is another one of those Tokidoki Sabo Sabochan. Is he supposed to be, like, wiggly in there? What are you doing to him? He's not that wiggly. You're just shaking the box. All right. And then we have a Masters of the Universe Roboto. This is cool because his body is clear. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. His body is absolutely crystal clear. Pretty cool. His body? The body of it. His chest is clear. That's his body. Babe, there's so much more to your body than your chest. Nah. All right. This one I'm happy about. And this one came 
in mint condition. This is mine. This is a keeper. I have every single one of these, except I want to throw some shade right now at Amazon because I ordered two of these from Amazon so that I could have the shared sticker also, and they both came damaged. They didn't get here until after they were sold out. So now I got to find one that's not damaged with the shared sticker. So if you have the shared sticker of this and you'd like to trade for something, hit me up because I need the shared sticker one because I got the conven convention sticker of Black Noir from the boys. That's clearly still very sensitive for you. I'm really mad about it. I You're just, very heated about Amazon it. Amazon needs to get their shit together. But anyway, this, this is the shared or the this is the convention sticker, which I'm really happy about getting. Um, I do have both the convention and shared sticker of the deep. And so now I have the convention sticker of Black Noir. So I need the shared sticker of Black Noir. I wonder if they'd put... Okay, so this is interesting. On all of the boys' pops, I'm pretty sure on all of the boys' pops, they put on the back flap, they put the deep logo. The movie, The Deep. And I always thought it was weird. But now on Black Noir, they didn't. There's no logo on that flap. So I wonder if that's a, a manufacturing choice that they did. Interesting. All right. And then next up is not a keeper, but this is a very heavy one. This is Crash Bandicoot in mask armor. Pretty cool. Crash pop. There you go. And then the last one is a keeper. Hopefully it's in good condition. And it got the virtual sticker. This is Marvel. It's one of my favorite Marvel characters. This is Blade. And this one is a keeper for me. Blade is one of uh, probably the first Marvel movies I saw in the movie theater. The original. I did not know Blade was Marvel. A lot of people, because it was it, Blade is one of the first Marvel movies. I've never seen it, but I didn't know. You've that never it... seen any of the Blade movies with Leslie Snipes? No, but I didn't know it was Marvel. Oh my. So that box was cool. That box had two pops I'm keeping. It had Blade and Black Noir. I kind of want to uh, I'll put them I'm going to put them in just to just so to, so nothing else gets knocked around cuz I don't want anything else to get damaged. So Blade and Black Noir are the first ones that are definitely keepers other than the the die cast Captain America that I'm keeping too. Even Crash has a little damage on the top of the box. Come on, Funko. Took forever to get them out here and now they're coming and they're a little bit damaged. Okay. Another box. Excitement. First up, we've got the Star Wars Rebels Imperial, Imperial Super Commando with the official sticker. And next we have the Belly Dancer Homer Simpsons pop with the official sticker. My. What? I don't like the symptoms at all. I know. Look at how cool that is, his little clear veil, though. Creative, right? And next we have a pop ad icons, Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. Kendall's probably favorite cereal ever by the name of it. Because Kendall Smacks. loves smacking. I don't. Have you ever had Sugar Smacks? No. Uh, Actually, yeah. They're not very good. They're honestly not that sweet, considering. I don't remember them. But there's the Smacky the Seal. That can be your new pet name for me. What? Smacky. What the hell? Is that another one? I didn't order two of these. Now I have to look and see what I'm missing. And also look at this little... The carpenter dude went freaking flying. I told you that they were loose in there. But I didn't order two of these. So now I have to look and see if I'm missing something. I got two of those for some reason. This was a keeper. This is from Jay and Silent Bob. This is Mooby's mascot. And this, what? This is you saying Mooby. Mooby's mascot. And this is going to go up. I have the Buddy Christ. So this is going to go next to the Buddy Christ. I remember the Buddy Christ thing. I don't remember M M Mubi. Mubi is in most of Kevin Smith's movies. Mubi was in Dogma. Mubi was the false idol. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Where people, where they just wanted a reason to shoot him. Is this one? That's not, oh, that's a little bit. Man, Funko. I don't know what you're doing with these, man. 
All right, and next one, last one for this one is Wonder Woman 80, Nubia. Nubia. All right. So out of that one, we had movie that was a keeper and now a mystery extra Alice in Wonderland that I'm going to have to figure out what the heck Funko is doing. But uh, so far, you know, to get this many with little dings and stuff is is uh, is kind of concerning from Funko. Are these not like brand new pops? No, they're brand new. Straight from Funko. So it's not like they've been kind of... No, straight from Sitting Funko. at a factory. Straight from Funko. Hmm. All right, and next we have a box here with uh, some of the... This is the uh, shirts. So I did get the shirts. So this is the uh, Fun, Days, Fun Days Games shirt. Are these things people can have, or these are for you? So a couple of them I'm keeping. I'm going to keep the, uh, the Funkon one. The actual, like, official com convention one. Um, this Rocketeer one is available if somebody wants it. These are all in 2X size, by the way. So this is the Disney's The Rocketeer shirt. And this is the Virtual Funk On shirt. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to keep... I'm definitely keeping the blue one, for sure. The blue one is, like, the official con shirt. So I was definitely going to keep that one, for sure. I'm going to have to find somewhere else to start putting boxes. All right. Kendall will be happy to know two more. There are still two boxes in that box? Two more. It's like a clown car box. I'm really concerned about that extra wal wal walrus pop. Ooh, that's tough. That extra wal... Is it because of the extra word or what's that one? I see another extra pop. How do you know? Because I don't think there was any others that were red. Well, maybe there was. Let me see. No, okay, there was. This is the Deathstroke one. So this is the Deathstroke Samurai Pop. So, can I tell you a Kendall moment I had? Okay. Since people love to talk about my intelligence anyways, oh, I'll boy. just share this with you. Here we go. I follow Stephen Amell on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And he posted a photo of himself, uh, what's that called, where you, like, ride on the water? Like wakeboarding? Yeah, wakeboarding. And he was, like, up, you know, on the board. He, like, looked really good and really confident. And he said never had any lessons. Mm -hmm. And my initial thought when I read that was, well, like, with all your training, like, Oh my god. You wouldn't need lessons. The green arrow is going to be yeah. great at that. And then I was like, oh wait, that's not real life. That's funny, babe. Um, this is Batman Scythe with the convention sticker. That's like Batman Reaper? Yeah. Why would that happen? I think it's from uh, the... I don't know for sure. I think it's from the, the um, Heavy Metal series. So this is the McDonald. Wow. Okay, this is weird too. What the hell is Funko doing? So this is the Drummer McNugget from McDonald's. But Funko put a Funko Soda sticker on it. Look how small that sticker is. This is the regular sticker. Hang on. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on right now? That's kind of weird. A little bit weird. Such a mini. Did anybody, if you got a, if you got a mini sticker also, let me know. Um, interesting. So this is Ryan's here. This is the, uh, limited, the, I got the convention sticker. This is the Harry Potter, uh, chasing, it. huh? That's not that bad. That's just the box went in a little bit. I don't want to work on fixing it right now. It's not terrible though. She's talking about the box got pushed in the top a little bit, but the, actually the box being pushed in, it didn't actually take damage. So that's nice. It just needs to be popped out. Um, but this is Harry Potter catching... The golden ball snitch, right? Snitch? Mm -hmm. Snitch? Don't be a little snitch. The golden ball. The golden ball. Golden nugget. Snitches get caught by wizards. Um, So this is Stargirl. And apparently this is 5,000 piece limited. I didn't know this was a 5,000 piece limited. This is uh, Justice League Stargirl. The camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
All right. And the last one in here is the White Lantern Sinestro. That's a cool one. White Lantern Sinestro. That's damaged. Oh, yeah, that one is too. Look at that. That one got crushed up as well. Man, I don't know what is going on with them, but Are this you gonna is. Are going to write them about all these? Yeah. I gotta You're go through. You have to draft like a really long email. I'm gonna have to go through and make a list. I gotta figure out why I've got an extra. Like this is really kind of a mess. I don't understand the the tiny stickers. Like this is just not well, a good tiny sticker. I mean, just as like a general of what's going on, like it's just not not a good look on Funko at all. Like this is not not good. All right, last one for this very long video. Which might not be that long after editing. Still probably going to be pretty long. All right. If you're still here, hashtag last box. Hashtag what WTF Funko. Man, it's just not the best. And the thing is that these are being packed in here and I don't see damage to these boxes. So I'm really wondering if they're just being damaged by Funko and shipping. I have a funny hashtag. Oh no, go for it. Hashtag Funko funked up. Maybe that'll be my title. <laughs> I'll do What the Funko. Okay, so this is Rey on Jakku. This is Star Wars. It's a cool one. This is one Kendall probably would like. This is Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. I barely remember that. You don't remember that one? Why would I like that? I thought you liked Emperor's New Groove. Not particularly. Oh. Well, Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. He also has a Xander chin. And then we've got Dr. Fate from Justice League to go with Stargirl. I like how he looks like he's suspended in the air with the way they have Oh, his yeah, with the cape. Mm -hmm. Here's one that Kendall definitely liked. This is Beauty and the Beast, the wardrobe. Mm -hmm. The drag queen character. My plus size girl. <laughs> it's a heavy pop. Yeah. I don't need her though. Someone can have her. It's a heavy, heavy pop. All right. And then we've got Xanathar with D20 Dungeons and Dragons. It's cute that they moved the sticker over so you can see the little dice. <laughs> I didn't know Dungeons and Dragons had pops. Yeah, they do. All right. And the last one. This pop needs to be signed by Nathan Fillion. <laughs> this is the detachable kid. <laughs> TDK from Suicide Squad. It was such a funny character and the, the, the pop is... It would have been really funny if they had just suspended his arms in plastic. So it looked like his arms were flying at you. For those who haven't seen the movie, sorry. That was Nathan Fillion? Yeah, Nathan Fillion. Why would he play such a small role? Just as a cameo type thing. That's it. That is our major uh, Funko unboxing. So uh, thank you for sticking with us. I know we went a little bit longer, but we had a lot to unbox. But yeah, let us know down below. Like, if you guys ordered, first of all, I know I are I do know that it took forever to, for orders to go out. I know that already. But did yours come this damage? Like, we had some serious damage on ours. You had a dam. I think you had something damaged in every box. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. I just noticed that on this one, the wardrobe, look at the top of the box. The top it's of the like box ripped. is ripped through. Somehow in the middle, like how? Yeah, like what the hell, Funko? Can you guys see that rip right there? I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. But I promise you there's like a rip bump right there. I don't know what's going on. What the Funko? You don't like mine? Funko. Funked up. Funked up. We'll use both somewhere. What the Funko? Funko funked up. I don't know what's going on. Really strange stuff. Um, I will send an email. Uh, I got to go through each one of these and really look at them and see how bad we're looking at. I also have to go through now and figure out which one I'm missing or if I just got an extra. It's really frustrating like to have to go do now do all this work after this. Um, 
fortunately for me, the, the ones that I cared about seem to have come okay. <laughs> for the most part. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Go check out Funko. I mean, I'll leave a link down below to Funko's store. Go check them out. Um, and I will try to follow up with what happens. I don't know what they're going to say. Um, I don't know. Maybe they have a bunch of boxes ready to go for replacements. I just don't know. It's kind of weird. It's very weird. Maybe they had a drunk person on staff that day. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I'm happy with this guy, though. This guy is so cool. Look at that. Thanks for watching, everybody. But even he had schmutz. He has schmutz. Look at that schmutz. Look at that. I don't know if it'll show you. There's schmutz on the side. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you next time. Bye.